Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, neon style logo reveal animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported Netflix logo, which I am going to use in this tutorial. So without any wait, let's start creating logo reveal intro. Create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 resolution. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 8 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to background layer. Let's set the start and end color. Here you can set any color you want for your background layer. Perfect. Set ramp start and end position. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter value to 500. Now let's add our logo to timeline. You can scale your logo if needed, here I will slightly scale my logo. Perfect. In effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to logo layer. Change fill color to white. Perfect. Let's pre-compose the logo. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into the new composition. Perfect, now for logo composition. In effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to logo composition. For Vegas. Change segments to 1. In rendering, change the blend mode to stencil. Change color to white. Here if you want you can adjust the width of the stroke. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for rotation. Change rotation value to 2. Now at end of the timeline. Change rotation value to 0. Select random phase. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to logo composition. Here you can set any color of your choice. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for glow, add glow to logo composition. For glow, change glow threshold to 80%. Change glow radius to 12. Change glow intensity to 2. Now let's create a duplicate of glow. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate of glow. Perfect. Now again create a duplicate of glow. For glow 3. Change glow radius to 50. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Now to create flickering effects, we need to create four solid layers. Let's create first solid layer.
Now in effects and preset, search for fast blur or Gaussian blur. Here you can add radial fast blur or Gaussian blur. Add it to white solid layer. Set blurriness to 20. You need to position the shape layer as shown. Perfect. Now we need to create three duplicates of white solid layer. To create duplicates press Ctrl plus D. Perfect. Now adjust their position one by one as shown. Perfect. This will hide the complete logo. Let's hide the remaining three layers for some time. For white solid one, we need to change mode to, Silhouette Alpha. Now for white solid, press T to bring up opacity. Here I will start the flickering animation from 20 frames onward. Here we need to, only create keyframes for opacity, in such a way that it creates flickering or blinking effects for logo. Here I will create opacity keyframe, frame by frame. Now at next frame set opacity to 0%. Move one frame forward. Change opacity value to 100%. Again move three to four frames forward. Create keyframe for opacity. Move one frame forward, change opacity value to 0%. Move one frame forward, change opacity value to 100%. Similarly, you need to create keyframes up to 5 seconds. You can increase or decrease the number of keyframes and also their position. You can see the preview. Here I will fast forward it because it will take a lot of time to create such an effect. A few moments later. Okay, here I have created all the keyframes need for layer 1. I have kept a slight big gap between the keyframes from 2 to 3 seconds. Perfect. Let's unhide the layers. Similarly, we need to do this for all the remaining three layers. Here I will fast forward it. A few moments later. Okay so here I have created keyframes for all four white solid layers. Here opacity keyframes for all layers are not in the sequence. Here I will change the mode to Silhouette Alpha for all three white solid layers. Now select all keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to Easy Ease. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now select the logo layer and solid layers. Pre-compose them. Let's name it as Neon 1. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now we will create a duplicate of Neon 1 composition. In the project tab. Select the Neon 1 composition, press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now open Neon 2 composition. This is the duplicate composition of Neon 1. For this Neon effect, here we will change the flick color. In logo composition, change fill color, here you can set any color of your choice. Now we will change the position of white solid layer. We are doing this just to save our time. If you want you can completely change all the keyframe values and create some random effects, or just change the position of solid layers. Perfect. 
perfect. You can see the preview. Now open logo animation composition. Let's add neon to composition to timeline. You can see the preview. At the end, you can see both neon colors are mixed. To prevent this, you need to make slight changes to any one of the neon composition. Here I will make changes to neon 2 composition. Now press U to view all created keyframes. Here I will delete the end keyframes for all solid layers. Now you can see only one color is visible in the preview. If you want both colors to be visible at the same time, then you need to adjust the keyframe for rotation in Vegas effect. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the noise layer. Set amount of noise to 2, now we will change noise solid layer to adjustment layer. You can do it by just clicking this option. Now our solid layer is changed to adjustment layer. Or you can just create adjustment layer, and add noise effect, both works the same. Let's change neon 1 and 2 composition to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null object to 3D. Let's parent camera to null object. Now for null object, press P to bring up position. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now change position value for Z axis to 1000. At end of the timeline, change position value to 0. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Fade. Set solid color to black. For Fade layer, press T to bring up opacity. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity. At 7 seconds, change opacity to 0%. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as Frame. Let's create mask covering the solid layer. For mask, change mask path to, change unit to percent of source. Change bottom to 90%, change top to 10%. Now change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, this complete template is available on my store, the link is provided in the description. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.